Hello and welcome to Dentrix Does It. In this video, I'll show you how to create and use future due payment plans. Future due payment plans are used to charge accounts monthly for work in progress, such as orthodontics, without putting the entire charge amount down at once. Unlike payment agreements, future due payment plans can be set up for individual patients. Here on the family file, I'm viewing a fictional 13-year-old patient named Monique. Future due payment plans are set up from the ledger. I'll double check in the view menu that I am viewing Monique and not the entire family. Before I set up the plan, I'll also point out that in the bottom right corner, the future due payment plan summary is disabled. Select Transaction, then Process Future Due Payment Plan. Highlight a provider for the payment plan. In the Create Payment Plan dialog box, notice that Dentrix automatically has assigned the current date to the date of agreement and first payment due date fields. You, of course, can change these dates if necessary. Enter the total amount to be charged in the Total Plan Amount field. If you are charging a down payment fee, enter the amount of the fee in the Down Pay Charge field. Enter the number of charges here to have Dentrix calculate for you the amount that should be charged, and it will automatically enter that in the Charge Amount field. Conversely, you can enter the Charge Amount, and Dentrix will calculate the number of charges for you. Keep in mind when you're entering either of these numbers that future due payment plans are charged on a monthly basis. In the Charge Procedure Code field, enter the procedure code that will be used to post the monthly charge. If there is not an ADA code for the type of charge you need to post, one course can be created in the Office Manager. And obviously the codes that I'm using here are not actual ADA codes for copyright reasons. If you want Dentrix to generate an insurance claim when the monthly charge is posted, check Auto Insurance Claim. To post the charge to the account on a monthly basis automatically, check the Auto Charge option. If you do not check the auto charge option, no charges will be posted to the account when the future due payment plans are updated each month. To post a down payment charge, click the down payment button. The down payment charge dialog box appears with the amount that you entered in earlier. Click the post charge button. The down payment is posted in the ledger and you're returned to the payment plan dialog. In a very similar way, when we process the plan monthly, a procedure code will be posted with the selected charge amount and for the selected provider. If you want to add detail or clarification to the payment plan, enter that in the Note field. If you want to provide the patient with a payment or coupon book, check Print Payment Book. Dendrix will generate the payment book and give you the option to send to batch or print when you click the OK button. When you've finished entering all of the information for the payment plan, click the OK button to accept the payment plan and return to the ledger. Notice now that the bottom right corner shows a summary of this patient's future due payment plan. During your month end process, run the Update Future Due Payment Plans option to post these charges to the individual accounts. If, for some reason, you did not run the process as part of month end, or if you want to manually add a payment plan charge to the patient's ledger, you can do so by selecting Transaction, then Process Future Due Payment Plan. Click the Monthly button and assign the charge manually. To clear a payment plan from an account, open the plan once more and click the Delete button. And that's how Dentrix does it. For more tips and training, please visit the Online Resource Center.